Tuesday, January 5, 1886. Sri Ramakrishna was sitting on his bed and talking to M. No one else was in the room. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. Master, if Shirode makes a pilgrimage to Ganga Shagur, then please buy a blanket for him. M. Yes, sir. Sri Ramakrishna was silent a few minutes. Then he continued, Master, Well, can you tell me what is happening to these youngsters? Some are running off to Puri and some to Ganga Shagur. All have renounced their homes. Look at Norentro. When a man is seized with the spirit of intense renunciation, he regards the world as a deep well and his relatives as venomous cobras. M. Yes, sir. Life in the world is full of suffering. Master. Yes, it is the suffering of hell. And that from the very moment of birth. Don't you see what a trouble one's wife and children are? M. Yes, sir. You yourself said. These youngsters have no relationship whatsoever with the world. Footnote These youngsters The master had meant his young disciples. Footnote ends They owe nothing to the world nor do they expect anything from it. It is the sense of obligation that entangles a man in the world. Master Don't you see how Niranjan is? His attitude toward the world is this. Here, take what is thine and give me what is mine. That is all. He has no further relationship with the world. There is nothing to pull him from behind. Woman and gold alone is the world. Don't you see that if you have money, you want to lay it by? M burst out laughing. Sri Ramakrishna also laughed. M. One thinks a great deal before taking the money out. Both laugh. But once you said at Tokineshwar that it is quite different if one is able to live in the world free from the three gunas. Master. Yes, like a child. M. Yes, sir. But it is exceedingly difficult. 
it requires tremendous power. Sri Ramakrishna remained silent. M. Yesterday, they went to Dukhinesha to meditate. I had a dream. Master, what did you dream? M. I dreamt that Narendra and some others had become Shunnashis. They were sitting around a lighted fire. I too was there. They were smoking tobacco and blowing out puffs of smoke. I told them that I could smell him. Footnote Many wandering Shunnashis smoke Indian hemp. Footnote tends. Master Mental renunciation is the essential thing. That too makes one a Shunnashi. Sri Ramakrishna kept silent a few minutes and then went on. Master But one must set fire to one's desires. Then alone can one succeed. M You said to the Pondit of the Marwadis from Bhurrabhasar that you had the desire for bhukti. Isn't the desire for bhukti to be counted as a desire? Master No Just as hinche greens are not to be counted as greens, Hinche restrains the secretion of bile. Well, all my joy, all my ecstasy, where are they now? M. Perhaps you are now in the state of mind that the Gita describes as beyond the three gunas. Sattva, Rajas and Tamas are performing their own functions and you yourself are unattached. Unattached even to Sattva. Master Yes the Divine Mother has put me into a state of a child. Tell me, won't the body live through this illness? The Master and M became silent. <laughs>